Hey folks, this is Red Falcon, and in this video we're going to be taking the M50 out for a spin. I recorded this during the free flight for all the fled ships. Three, two, one, go. And I figured the best place to test the M50 would be on the New Horizon racetrack, considering it is a racer. So what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be going around one lap on each of the three courses on New Horizon. And just because I mentioned it in my previous video, I decided to see how the ship performed if I just went full throttle the entire time. So if you want to look up in the um, to the left of my um, reticle, you'll see that it's my throttle and my speed. Uh, I never take the throttle under 100%. I'm just going full throttle the entire way just to see how the ship performs. Now, if you remember my earlier video, I showed you just how easy it is to pass out in this thing. What I've discovered and what I've learned is you have to yaw into the turns on the racetrack to keep from passing out. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to cause any structural damage to the ships in the final release, but for right now, there's no penalty for yawing into a turn. Now, this first track is Old Vanderval, and I can only assume that it's the beginner track because it's uh, the shortest. Also, I got a lap time of 1 minute and 57 seconds. Not too bad. Now this is the Rickard Memorial Racetrack. I'd say this is the intermediate racetrack, just based on the uh, number of turns and the difficulty. Three. And I believe this was the first or second time I've ever raced on this track, so uh, I make a few mistakes along the way, but thankfully no crashes. But you'll notice that I pitched downward and it caused me to red out, so the real trick is just to get your ship turned in just the way that you can yawn to the turns. And because this is atmospheric flight, I wasn't able to disable G-Safe and Constab, but you'll notice that the ship does slide regardless, so it's our first taste of what atmospheric flight's gonna feel like in this game. Well, when they actually do release atmospheric flight, but right now I understand it's on the back burner. Now for those who are wondering, New Horizon Speedway is located in the Ellis system. It's the home of the Murray Cup. Or at least that's uh, what I could found what I could find anyway. I'm not up to date on the lore as much, so if anyone actually knows for a fact where this is located and I made a mistake, please let me know. Uh, now I've heard, I've read that it's supposed to be on the green planet. Oh, the planet's called green. But uh, green's supposed to be a water world, and if we look down, we actually see mountains. So I don't think it's actually supposed to be on green. So, I don't know. If someone could actually tell me exactly where it is, I wasn't able to find the uh, ore anywhere. So we're just over two minutes on one lap. And again, I wasn't trying for the fastest speed. I was just seeing if I could go full throttle. Now this is our final lap. This is on Defford Link. This is uh, what I assume is the expert course. It's got the most checkpoints. Three, two, one, go. And the turns are insane. Like this one right here. It's a near 90 degree turn. Now, my time with Star Citizen is very limited, so I haven't had a opportunity to take the uh, 350R out for a spin around the track, but I definitely want to do a video in the future where I take the 350R and um, try to beat my time in the M50. As I noted in my earlier video, 
the M50 has a top speed of 280 and the 350R has a top speed of 300. But it was really the maneuverability and the uh, lower mass of the M50 that gives it its edge. So it's going to be interesting to see how a heavier ship performs on the same racetrack. Now, having the heavier mass will be helpful uh, just because I'll be able to um, push smaller ships out of the way. Uh, if any of you have seen the uh, M50 commercial, uh, it was a parody of uh, Top Gear. And on it, they actually had uh, an M50 racing a 350R, and the 350R was uh, able to knock the M50 out of the racetrack. So that was, that was pretty cool. So I'm thinking we're going to have a similar mechanic. There's also a plan to put in a death race-like mechanic where uh, in between certain checkpoints or maybe if you hit a certain area, your weapons come online and you're able to fire at the other racers. Now, unfortunately, I haven't been able to play a lot of multiplayer racing. Um, every time I go to um, load a racing game, it either uh, times out or everyone drops and the game ends up stopping. So um, there's still a few uh, changes that need to be made to that. But I'm really looking forward to them uh, optimizing the netcode so we can actually race people. Now, if you guys are long-term fans of my channel, you'll recall that uh, from my Evo Prime Mercenaries videos, I expressed my dislike of uh, spaceship racing, uh, especially in Evo Prime Mercenary. But I have to admit, um, I was a little skeptical about this, but I actually really enjoy the racing portion. It's um, different, and I like it. And I could actually see myself, uh, you know, really trying to be competitive in the racing scene. So we're coming up on the end of this racetrack. Okay, so just under three minutes. Two minutes and 58 seconds. If any of you guys can beat that time, I'd love to see it. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching, and until next time, I'll see you in the verse.